Well, hello there, YouTube. Like I said in yesterday's video, today I had to bring Katie down to Atlanta uh, for a surgery procedure that she's having. So we came down last night and we stayed in the hotel. She had a pre-op appointment at like 4.30 yesterday afternoon. So instead of driving back home and then driving back down here this morning, we just decided to go ahead and get a hotel for the evening. Unfortunately, we had some issues at the hotel. Um, we stayed here a couple of times before. She's had other procedures done and it's been decent. Um, it's an extended stay type thing. So it's got the kitchen and the whole nine yards in there. Um, we're only staying for two nights. Like I said, we stayed last night. Um, I believe they're gonna keep her today and release her tomorrow. So I'll stay another night. But, uh, you know, the hotel was terrible. I hate to say it. Um, you know, she went to take a shower and the shower wouldn't drain. So as she's showering, it's filling up in the tub and it was just uh, pretty crappy. And then, and I guess it didn't look like it had been cleaned very well when we came in. So then, uh, you know, I saw a cockroach. I was like, oh, well, man, I got to watch out for that. And then, you know, after we both showered, we're settled, we're kind of sitting in bed, just kind of, you know, hanging out, chilling, getting ready to go to sleep. And she got to go to the bathroom, turn on a light, and there were just cockroaches everywhere in the kitchen and the bathroom area. So that was, it was pretty disgusting. And on top of all the other stuff, um, you know, so we had to call, they had to change rooms. This room's better. Uh, it's definitely better. And, you know, I'm, I'm still going to stay there another night. But, I mean, the last night I was to the point. I was just ready to check out go find another hotel. But it was 1030 at night. We had to get up at 4.30 to get her over and checked into the hospital by 5, 5.30. So I uh, didn't want to drive all over town trying to find another room. So that kind of stressed us out. And then to top it off, you know, I'm sitting here in Atlanta and today's actually a beautiful day here. But I'm still stressed because they won't let me in the hospital with her. So she had her surgery this morning. I never got a call from the doctor. I really don't know much of a status. I know that she's out of surgery. She went into the post-op recovery, and now they've got her in her own room, but I'm still not allowed to go see her. So it's just kind of stressful. You know, as much as I hate sitting in hospitals, I hate that she's sitting in there without me. Um, I'd much rather be in there with her rather than sitting out here. So I'm bored out of my mind. I don't know what I'm going to do for today and however long she's in there for tomorrow, uh, but it's kind of driving me crazy just sitting here. So I figured I'd vent a little bit to you guys because there's really nothing else to do. Um, I don't even want to go try to find anything fun to do because then I feel guilty that I might be doing something fun while she's stuck up in a room by herself recovering from her surgery. Um, I don't know. My truck's pretty dirty. Maybe I'll go find a car wash or something so I can just clean my truck. Something to keep me occupied and uh, maybe accomplish something while, uh, while I'm waiting. But I don't know. That's it for there. Oh, and those buildings at the beginning, I just think those are so pretty. You know, I see them every time we come down here. Unfortunately, it's not the first time Katie's been down here for a surgery. Um, those buildings, with the way the crown-shaped things are at the top, they remind me of the king and queen chess pieces. And I just always thought it was neat, especially at night, the way they light it up. So I just figured I'd throw that in there for a little added bonus. You know, so I know most of this is kind of like personal stuff and, you know, I don't know that any of the viewers on the channel really give a damn about any of our personal things and I generally don't put personal stuff out there. But but on some of the YouTube channels that I watch, some of the the creators, you know, include some of their personal lives and it seems to be popular. It seems that some people really get into knowing what the YouTubers, you know, back history is and what they're doing with their family and so on and so forth. You know, and at this point, I don't have the followers to, to make me think that that might be interesting. But I just figured we'd throw this in here and we'll see how it goes. So if you like the personal content, please leave a comment. Let me know whether you want more personal content or if you just want trucking, you just want bike week, you just want, you know, shop projects. Let me know what you want to see from the channel. I'm not saying I'm going to do it. I mean, it's my channel and kind of doing, you know, my life type thing. Um, so I'm not going to create stuff just for the channel that isn't something I wouldn't normally do. Just want to know, uh, you know, what you guys want to see. Oh, and as I'm recording this, I just got a message from Katie. So apparently uh, they dropped off her uh, package. Um, they wouldn't let me up to the room. So I had to take her bag and give it to some people at the front desk and just trust that they took it all up to her. And, and that way she's got her phone and whatnot. So 
I'm going to get off here now and give her a call, check in on her, see how she's doing. All right, doing. so she texted me, and uh, she did get her stuff. She says she's still not feeling very well. She'll give me a call in just a little bit. And then as soon as I got done reading that, the the nurse, or the, I guess the head nurse on the floor, called me and gave me a status. She's doing really well. Um, obviously, they're working on pain control and stuff like that. So I uh, says she's sitting up and doing good. In fact, uh, they were quite surprised at you know how much of a trooper she actually is. But this isn't her first rodeo. She's been through it before. So at least I feel a little bit better now that I know that, you know, uh, or at least I got a status update. I know she's doing okay. Surgery went well. So I don't know. For now, I'm just going to end this video. And if I find anything else today to do that seems interesting, I'm, uh, I'll record that too. Maybe just keep them short and see how everything goes. So thanks, guys. Go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you think. And uh, until the next time I see you, keep those engines running.